This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance is the 21st century's educational corporation specializing in the most comprehensive enterprise training solutions, ranging from e learning to instructor led training. Press play for success. After watching this video, be sure to become a Facebook fan to receive the latest updates, promotions, and course releases. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to preview the latest desktop, soft skills, and IT training videos. The next type of site that we want to take a look at is known as a wiki, W-I-K-I, and the concept of a wiki is relatively new on the internet. Uh, it provides people with a much greater ability to share information through collaboration. So you collaborate with me and we both add some information to create a larger document. Wikis allow for the easy creation of documents and editing of those documents and it allows us to do that without knowing the underlying protocols. Uh, and through the use of text editors. Basically, editors and editing capability that's built right into a website so that the same browser I use to read the page can be used to edit uh, the page. Now, organizations will typically use wikis for collaboration between employees and management for projects and things like that, and they can be extremely beneficial, having multiple people working on the same document uh, together. Uh, but the largest public wiki is wikipedia.org. Now, most of us have probably heard of Wikipedia. Uh, it is the single largest encyclopedia in the world because it is housed solely on the internet. Uh, it doesn't have a single managing editing staff. No, the whole internet community potentially could add to Wikipedia. And that is the concept of a wiki. If you have information to add, you add it. Uh, you know, again, in business scenarios, there's going to be somebody monitoring that and there are going to be permissions. On a public wiki, there may or may not be permissions. In order to add information, you may or may not need to have an account. For that reason, we don't want to trust all the information you find on a wiki. Now, it's unfortunate that we have to say this, but it really does have to be said. In fact, some college environments, most, I think, will not allow you to cite Wikipedia, which is not really that big of a deal. Because if I'm using Wikipedia, in most cases, the source material is cited. And that's the time when I would trust it. If somebody makes a statement and provides documentation and cites the source material, then I don't need to cite Wikipedia. I can go to the source material and cite that. And so that's really the time that we should trust. And just keep it in mind. It's not that we have to distrust everything. It's just if it doesn't provide any references to source material, then I should be a little bit more cautious as to whether I completely and totally trust that. And I should verify that information. But again, the concept of a wiki is great and Wikipedia is a fantastic website and it makes available a vast amount of information for us that wouldn't have been otherwise uh, available. So that was, you know, this is the final type of site that we wanted to look at. In the next section, we're going to take a look at how to step it up a notch and get some more advanced search capabilities.